Hello viewers, I am Monoranjan Burman and you are watching my YouTube channel Medical Lab Tech. Today I am going to talk about the second part of the diagnosis of COVID-19. I think you have watched the first part. If you have not watched the first part, then you can check the I button here. Here we will discuss the serology part for the diagnosis of COVID-19. In serology, we will try to find out the antibody from a given blood or serum specimen of the patient. Antibodies are protective proteins which are produced by the immune system. So here I am going to explain about antibody production and different types of antibodies in active infection or a past infection. So please keep watching the video. We will go through some basic details of serology. In the lung, you have alveolar macrophages. These macrophages are basically derived from monocytes and they have the capacity to engulf any foreign particle in the body. Once the SARS-CoV-2 virus will get entry into the lung, then alveolar macrophages will engulf the virus into the cell and put it into the little phagosome. The macrophages will secrete some protein substances which will degrade the virus particle, which will degrade the virus particle and bind to a specific antigen of the virus. Then it express on the surface of the macrophage with association of class 2 complex. Hence it is known as antigen presenting cell or APC in short. Once the antigen of the virus is expressed on the macrophage, the nearby T helper cell will be attached and T helper cell will bind with the antigen which is presented on the surface of macrophage. This T helper cell have a receptor called TCR that is T cell receptor which is specific for the viral antigen that is S protein or S antigen of the coronavirus and a CD4 plus protein which is specific for the MHC2 complex. When these two interact perfectly it will trigger the T helper cell to release a massive amount of cytokines a specific type of interleukins. These cytokines then alert B lymphocytes and give instruction for proliferation and differentiation. Proliferation means increasing the number of B cells and the differentiation of B cells result in the formation of memory cells and plasma cells. Plasma cells are known as the antibody producing cells. The plasma cells can produce a specific type of antibody which are designed only to bind with a specific type of antigen in the case of coronavirus spike protein or S protein. After binding with the S protein, the virus will be destroyed and finally eradicated by the immune system. But this helps us with testing. How? If you are initially infected, then a very specific type of antibody will be produced, which is known as IgM antibody. If you have IgM, then it indicates an active infection. Then an other type of antibody are produced later. Those are known as IgG antibody. Initially IgM antibody will be produced and then over the time it switches to the IgG antibody. But it takes time. This IgG antibody can indicate that you have recovered from the infection or it indicates a past infection. So basically the antibody production takes time. If someone basically develops symptoms then they might not have a positive antibody test initially. It might take potentially up to a week. This is one of the disadvantages of this test. So some person might have the infection but until and unless antibodies are developed so by this test we cannot detect the antibody. So if you combine this test with RT-PCR then they have the great sensitivity. So what we do in the test? These are known as rapid test kit that are suitable for the qualitative detection of novel coronavirus, IgG and IgM antibody in the human serum and whole blood. The main principle is the immunochromatography. Different components are separated from the mixture by using capillary force. Once the antibody will move forward through the nitrocellulose membrane, so it will rapidly bind to the specific antigen. Its case it is a dry medium that have been coated separately with novel coronavirus antigen in the IgM strip and the IgG strip and anti-mouse antibody in the control strip that is C. 
so if igm and or igg antibody is present in the sample then it will move through the nitrocellulose membrane and bond with the captured antigen and show a colored reaction like this so for a valid test color have to be there in the c strip or the control line otherwise the test is invalid so in this case the color reaction is shown in the igm against the igm strip so in this case the result is igm positive and in this case the the color is shown in the control strip as well as the igg strip so it's a igg positive reaction nowadays so many researches are going on so near future we might get some more updated data or some updated technique for a valid test c line or the control line has to appear if a line appear in igm then it indicates a igm positive reaction and that means the person have a active infection if a line appears in igg then it indicates a igg positive reaction and it indicates a past infection or a person who is recovered from the infection this is all for today i think you have enjoyed the video so please like share and comment and please do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you